Hello. You have applied to and you have been admitted to Erasmus studies for the coming semester. Congratulations. It's really an exciting experience to be, to be an exchange student, so I wish you all luck with that. Even if the world is quite upside down at the moment and uh, there are lots of question marks, I think you should plan ahead or I, I really encourage you to plan ahead the way you've done all along. Uh, you are eligible to get the mobility grant from the Erasmus program. It is not automatically paid out to you, so you will have to apply again. And instructions on how to do that will be sent to you by email within short. At the same time as you apply for the scholarship, you can apply for a rail travel grant. This grant is uh, made just to uh, encourage you to take the train instead of the plane. For several reasons. One of them, of course, is sustainability. But then it's also a time for you to reflect on where you are going to and why you are doing it. The students who applied during the past years, they have been very satisfied with choosing to go by train and they have learned a lot by doing so, reflecting over their future and they have met many friends on the way on the train. Should you be an Erasmus student with children, you are eligible to have extra support for bringing your children, your child or your children along. It's the same thing if you should have any disability, then you could get extra support from the Erasmus program. The program is quite bureaucratic and uh, you should have a learning agreement. This is something that should be ready before leaving. It should be signed by your home university, your host university and yourself. And it's your study plan. It's just to make sure that you will get recognition of the courses once you get back home. You should do a mandatory language test before leaving. You could choose also to do a, an optional language course. And why not take the possibility to take a language course in the language of the country you're traveling to. You may be studying in English, but you will have to live and get by the day-to-day -day life in the country. So this is, this is really an opportunity for you. Once you come home again or come back to Sweden, then you should fill in another compulsory language test. You should also write a, a participant report and the confirmation of study period is a very important document. That's where your mobility grant is based on. We are counting the days of your mobility and you have to be away more than three months, up to 12 months. All this fulfilled, the rest of the scholarship will be paid out to you. So when you leave you get 70% of the total sum and when you get back you get the rest 30% of the scholarship. Should you want to do a traineeship within the Erasmus program that is possible too. You may be doing that right now or you choose to do it after your studies. You can apply for a traineeship up until the day you graduate. So you can actually do the, the traineeship after graduation, within 12 months after graduation. You apply uh, throughout the year, but you have two periods during the, the fall semester and the spring semester. So between 10th of August and 15th of November and between 10th of January and 3rd of June. It's the same thing with the tra traineeship grant. You will get 70% once you leave with, once you leave Sweden and when you come back to Sweden and have fulfilled all the requirements, you will get the rest of the scholarship, the extra 30%. So why not take the chance to do both? Or if you choose to do one or the other, good luck with everything you're planning to do.